All right, so as you guys know, do the screen in under the porch, and that's been bug free. We've been sleeping really well, just in case you are wondering. But the next task, which I'm gonna do right before I leave, should have done it six weeks ago when we got here, but is finish this trail. So a couple years ago, I made the stone trail that goes from the bunky to the house so we could move barefooted. What we need is a trail that goes from here and veers off there because right down there is the outdoor shower, which we use every day. And then we come up, instead of going around, doubling back over there, it'd be way easier to just walk kind of here, which is a buried power cord, as you can see. So I need to go forage for stones like this. That one's way too heavy and deep under the ground. But I need to go find approximately 17 stones that look like that to fill in this area here. I got maybe four over there already, kind of started. I need to dig them into the ground a bit or put some dirt around them, but yeah, similar vibes to here. I need to forage some stones and uh, create our trail. It's gonna be a quick one, but here we go. So a bit of the trick here is you need to wedge these things up so they sit flat on things. The hard part about finding these stones is finding the stones. Easiest place to take them from would be my mom's stone gardens. One there, one here. But they already scoured the land to make these probably before I was around. So I gotta get a little more creative, find some of my own, which involves scouring the shoreline and seeing where we can get a couple good big steps that could be useful. You see there's lots of, lots and lots of rock. That one would probably be great, but that thing is buried deep. This one would be great, but it's not going anywhere. Oh, oh yeah, perfect. Set that one here for a second. Try and get another, oh, there we go. That one's looking good. It's the fire pit my sister's husband built. Pretty useful. Another good place to look is actually right in the edge of the water. It's a big slab right there. That's probably too heavy for me to grab. But those are always good ones. You know what? I'm gonna see if I can grab this thing. Was a little too too big. We're gonna find one. So a little kayak dock, canoe dock. See everyone's been doing this for years. Same old operation. Trying to find the good stepping stones for pathways up here. So this isn't looking good. I need 10 more of these things. And it's not looking good. Last thing I wanna have to do is put a mask on, get in the water find some so let's take another good look down here in the water a little small all right you know what i have to go to the front of the property so let's go over there for now so that's the bay side the front side is way more rocky so let's see what we got in here work. Just have to dig it in a bit. Maybe I'll take this. Oh. 
that little half one I found down there, it's gonna be perfect right there. So let's run down and get it with those other two stones. Sometimes it's just meant to be cobweb. This one, perfect. And the other two are right here. Wow, that is gonna be epic. All right, so I'm about five stones away. A little bit of a problem as there is a cord right here, which is coming from our neighbor's house, running to a satellite dish right down there. I'm not sure how I'm gonna get around that. And there's also an electrical cord here, which powers that baby. So I'm kind of right in the middle. What's that? How's it going? Pretty good. Show you soon, I'm five steps away. Okay, amazing. Wifey checking in. But what I did notice is that this might be a good rock, although it is deep. But only one way to find out, so. Yep, that might even take me down two rocks, down to four. Pretty big cavernous area there, but this is a nice find. The path is coming along, as you can see. From the bunky cross. Now it goes two ways. Boom, boom. One. I need one, two small ones, or one big one, three. So I just need three more. All right, I'm gonna go find those, and I'll be back. Oh my god. Right. Found three more, but they're a little bigger than. Anticipated, so dig these bad boys in. It's gonna work out really nicely. Key for shims, rock shims. Never disintegrate. Don't put wood in, just use nature's Nature's gifts, I shim these things up so they don't tilt. Where do you step on? Down to my last one. Just gotta lay this thing in here. But again, crosshair of these wires, so. Bigger problem than I thought this is maybe an unmovable rock. Bit of a ledge, which if you see, this rock ledge is going right down here. Might have to reroute this trail a little bit. Oh God. Whew. Done note. Never wear a white hat to work. Not the smartest idea, but I was uh, trying to get this done before we left. But here's the test. Let's get Hannah, see what she thinks. Cause she is the ultimate tester. Hands, you want to come test this thing? Can you go through the bunkie? Sure. I didn't, I'll do this next year. That one's a little less needed, but needed. Let's see what she thinks. Batteries are about to run out, so. I think it's looking pretty good. Wow. I'm excited for you to try it. So, take your left. Whoa. Perfect. Yeah? Yes. You're digging it? I love it. My hands are really dirty. Oh my god. How about a not even? No. Okay. You killed it. Yeah, it's good, right? It looks amazing. Alright, success. So that my friends is the DIY stone path. This is so good. I know. Be great for next summer. Yep. Alright. Yeah. We're gonna walk down it once more together and uh That'll be it, so see you next time. 
DIY projects. Get them done. It makes you feel good. It makes your wife feel good. I love it. it makes life feel good. <laughs>